Hi, beautiful people. You are welcome back to Physical Court Fasuna's channel. My name is Fola. I'm grateful for as many that have been subscribing to our channel. And if you are yet to subscribe, do well to subscribe today. Thank you. Today, I want to teach you how to make a, one beautiful bubble dress that you can as well use as a kimono jacket. So it's two in one. So try and watch the hand. It's going to be interesting. And then uh, all we need for this bubble is a uh, three years of a uh, fabric is by 60. Three years, then I'll be making use of this uh, bias to tape some here. So let's get started. I've shared my three years uh, fabric. I've shared it into two. I mean, it has been shared into one and a half, one and a half. One will be one part of a one and a half will be used for the front and this, the other one will be used for the back. So let's, you know, sketch out the front cut first. As you can see, this is a, we are having like a 50, 54 inches here, wideness and the, by, the length is by 60 or 62 or thereabouts. So as you want, you know, as you want it to be flowing, that's the length you're going to use. So you are going to fold this to two equal parts. Now, the fabric has been folded into two equal parts. So after folding it, we are having like uh, 27, which we amount to 54 when you open it. So, and the length is a uh, 60 to 62 or thereabouts. So the next thing now is to get the, this is the center of our, so the next thing to do is to get the, the neck, the neckline. So the neckline we'll be working with is a four. Let's use uh, four wideness. You can use four and a half if you wish. So we'll be using four inches by seven and a half. If you want yours to be lower than this, you can, you can do so. so for this one we are using, in fact, let me use say uh, seven inches, I'll prefer seven inches. So you just, you just connect it. It's going to be thin neckline. So I'll cut it out now. Then the next thing we are going to do is to open the the front, the front coat. We're going to open the front coat. I've secured it with a pin by the side so that we won't miss it out. You just open that your front coat in the center front. Now, you can see I've opened the, the front coat. I mean the center front. I've opened it and the next thing I'll be doing there is to use uh, my bias. I'll be using bias to, you know, to tape it down from up to down, you know, minding this uh, thin neck. I will, I will tape it. This is fee. I will, you know, I will from uh, the taping will be from the from the right side, so. Uh, we sew the bias on it from right side, then later turn to the to the wrong side. So I will do it to the to both the front cut. So that is what I will do. But mind you, if you want to use facing, you are good to use facing for this thing. All you need to do is to cut out your your facing of like a two and a half inches, just the way. This neck, uh, the way the front neckline goes, you just get your facing like that today. Um, so the facing will be 
like just like two and a half to three inches uh, wideness so you are good to do that but for this uh, video i'll be using the the bias so the next thing is to cut the to do the back cut now so the back we're having the same length as the as for the front with seven inches we have which we amount to 54 when you open it it is on foot remember so this is the center back so all you need to do at the back here is to get the wideness of your neck which is a we are using four inches you are good to go any i mean you are good to go with any length you want to make but for this lesson we are we are doing four inches for so for the back we are going to do one and a half depth so it's going to come down by one and a half so you just connect it you can use your french curve or you use a free hand sketch to to connect it so that's it for the back so we cut it out now so that is it so the next thing to do now is to get the wideness i mean i mean your arm hole to get the arm hole so whatever i do here the same thing will be done to the to the front cut so for the arm hole line i'll be using 11 inches you can use 10 to 12 so let me use 11 inches so this on this 11 inches point i'll just notch it so we're not cutting out anything i'll just notch it like this so i'll do the back cuts i mean the front cut the same way so that's the back cut so let me do the notching on the front cut to 11 inches as a arm line so for this very bubble we are not shaping anything because some bubble we might need to you know slant it with like two to three inches slant it and you know they do the shoulder slope but for this one we are not doing that so the next thing is for us to go and join front and back together before we join front and back together we we'll first of all you know pipe <coughs> pipe that uh, the center front opening i will pipe it with this uh, bias then we join the front and back together so after joining the front and back together we join the the shoulder of the front and back together so having done that we we'll now use a bias to even pipe the the arm hole. We use it to pipe pipe arm hole. So let me just run. This is our dress. This is the neckline here. We have joined the shoulder together, and the, we have uh, apply our. Uh, bias um, you can see it has been neatly fixed so the side this is the harm wool the side has been joined together this is the second harm wool okay. so we you know we have placed we have stitched our bias on it and everything has been neatly you know ironed so the next thing to do now is because this uh, dress is very big so you can see you know to this it for you so this is this the the center front so the next thing we want to do now is to place our body so at this junction you can decide to use a, a rib button and uh, open your uh, button hole so but for this uh, video i choose to to use a plastic uh, press button that you are seeing here 
So I have like a one dozen, I mean 12 pieces of it here. So that is what I want to apply there. So and to achieve that, what I'll just do now is that I'm going to mark the place at which my button will be fixed. So one is going to be at this center where we have our fee neck. So you know, it's a female uh, dress. So this uh, right side will be placed on the on the left. So I'm going to mark my first button hole here. Yeah. So thereafter, I will begin to mark three and a half, three and a half to the down part, three and a half. Three and a half. So that's the way I will mark it till I reach leaving just like a 15 to 18 inches at the down part here. So I will stop fixing my button around here. And if you want to fix everything to the down part, you are good to do that. So it doesn't matter because the damp part is very free. It doesn't stop you from working. So it's just for this video I want to stop there. Now, this is the way our um, elastic uh, press button is going to be fixed. We are going to fix this this very one. You can, I think you can see it through camera. Mm. This one. This is the one that will be here. So its pair will be here. Will be placed. Here and the, by the time we close it, this is the way it's going to to be. It won't be, you know, it won't be obvious. That's the way it's going to be. By the time we we fix it, you will see what we are talking about. So that's the way I'm going to do everything. That's the next thing I'll go and do now. So having done after, you know fixing our press button. So you can now choose to open your breast uh, button, your button to the length you want your slit to be. So you can choose to open it to like 36 inches of your of your height. You can choose to you can choose to open it anywhere you 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 prefer. So and if you want to use that use it as kimono, you just open all the buttons. So but if you want to use it as booboo, -boo, you can close all the button to the down parts. So if you want to use, if you want it to have slits just the way you are seeing the picture in the tumbler, you can do it as you want. So that is why it is a two in one. So let me just go and fix my press button. Now your beautiful three in one booboo -boo dress is ready. You can wear it as a normal booboo -boo dress. You can wear it as a booboo -boo with slit, as well as you can wear it as a kimono jacket. So it's three in one, so beautiful. I'm sure you have enjoyed this video. Give it a like, share with your friend, drop your comments, and subscribe to this channel, Physical Fashion House. Thank you. See you next time.